the land speak to us, you know. We learn to understand it. Yeah, Dad just told me never forget who you are, where you come from, and always stay connected to the land. You take on my responsibility. What when I pass on, don't forget what I taught you. And when I'm travelling or walking out in the bush like this, you know, things that you told me in the past, he'll want me to think about it and learn for myself, you know. And if you have that strong connection to the land, it's an amazing experience. When I use Australian sandalwood, as an Australian, I feel like I'm having connection to the people who produced it. No one wants to use products where there's questionable provenance about where that starting material came from. But when you flip into the opposite, that you know that that raw material is actually doing really good for other people, that feels great. And the feeling having that connection right through the supply chain shouldn't be undervalued. What an amazing journey. We can see way into the horizon. We're on the way to Kutkababa and we've only got about four or five hundred kilometers to go. How can we know anything about where we're going? This is in some ways a different planet to where we live. So we have to find a way to listen, to learn. Yes, the Lord of Companies really cares about its community, its workers. Not only do they care for their internal community, but they care for their external community as a community that we are going to be visiting today. These communities, in many cases, have been stewards of the land for generations, for hundreds if not thousands of years. And nobody knows the land better. Um, or understands the challenges and the opportunities that they're facing. So really by partnering and creating an open dialogue with these communities, we can really work together um, to you know, make sure that going forward, it's economically viable for them to continue to farm for generations to come and to continue to care for the land. There are times that our people think that they got nothing special. They are, they are nobody. They got no hope. This do what we're doing today. Now it's, it's giving our people a sense of pride. You know, Castellora, and they are people who are from different cultures, different backgrounds. But we are touching them with something special from our land that we've enjoyed for thousands of years. So we are touching the world, you know. So it's showing our culture, our story and our connection. It helps us create more employment for our people. It helps keep our people on land. And it's healing for them, you know. It's creating a sense of pride for our people. The country and, and, and people's belonging to land is something that uh, after 40 years of working with the indigenous Madhu people, I've come to really deeply appreciate. But even I, with all of my, my, my love of the people, I, I only touch upon just how deep their connection to country is. The chain of custody of the Dutch and sandalwood oil is vertically integrated. They harvest sandalwood oil, they process sandalwood oil, they export sandalwood oil, and they promote sandalwood oil hand in hand with international brands such as Estee Lauder companies. We don't harvest the young trees and also the old, old trees like the mother trees, we don't harvest them. We only harvest the ones that mature and in between the medium sized ones. We use the small trees, younger trees and the old trees to continue the species, you know. We, when the seeds come on we use that to replant and then from there it's transported back to our factory where it's distilled and that's how we produce the oil and it 
it's sold all around the world. Huh? Dajan Sand Wood Oils is a unique uh, relationship. We are really helping to facilitate the people of Kookaburra to live on country, work on country and, and have an economically sustainable enterprise in one of the most remote places on earth. To us, the whole point of the deal, the thing that makes it work, the thing that makes it unique, is that the two sides come together as equal partners. Equal in the equity they own in the business, equal in the fact they own the infrastructure at the distillation plant, they have equal representation at a board level, and so that brings us together as a company where there is no little 1% up the sleeve that you can pull out to pull a, a crafty stroke. There is none of that. If we have issues, we work through them together, and, and that's, the, that's the strength of the business, is overcoming challenges as a 50-50 partnership. Our hopes for the future is that we can actually increase the number of people that are employed at Kookaburra in harvesting wood and increase the economic viability of their community. We've fought for 30 years to, to change legislation. We've, we've got the legislative framework now in place. We're hopeful through inter-ministers that uh, there will be a review and a, a process of allowing these people very simply not to be given money but to be allowed to farm their resource on their land in a carbon friendly manner. As you can see, there's a sandlot there, there's the house trees. So during the time when there's no rain, the house tree will help the sandlot. During that harsh time now, the tree is stressed. That's when the sandlot trees produce this, the best oil. But uh, during that time also, it's been helped by the nearby house trees. Uh, it's, everything is connected and working together in harmony. Essential oils are like having a millennia of sunsets and sunrises trapped within one drop. All that complexity, all that naturalness, a real connection to the land. So every time you use a drop of essential oil and an aroma or a fragrance, you get that true history. All together, collectively, we share in this journey and we take this story to the world. This is our story. Yes, we are cultural people, but we still are entrepreneurs in our own right. And we want to take that opportunity to capitalize on those opportunities that exist in front of us. Hopefully, we can get government locally, internationally, to share their vision with our families and our people. And through this working together, we can help realize that dream for all of us. I think getting on the ground and actually visiting with the community and meeting all the families and seeing the children and understanding how much the community really re relies on the income that they can generate through sandalwood and how this allows them to really stay connected to their land and not have to leave and, and relocate to cities in search of a better life. This is what makes the Essay Water Companies really special, that we have this opportunity um, you know, to get out from behind our desk and to get out into the field and see the world and meet people and it's just a, a special place. I really believe that the sandalwood business can be transformative to the other communities that need this hope. And this is sort of like a, a, the ultimate nature-based economy. It's not just expanding a, a quality product, but it's expansion of what can happen to the local communities. If you don't know who you are, where you come from, you become a lost person. So. That's why it's important that we teach the younger generation on so they so they can know what to do in the food channel. You know. Teaching them that they must take up the responsibility. They got a purpose in life, they got a responsibility, they got something special to do. And they know who they are, where they come from. And for them to carry that 
carry that in their heart too, you know. But when we are strong and prepared, physically, mentally, spiritually, we can face the future.